Hello everyone. Today we will go through the Spring Boot sample application and its Swagger configuration. So before we get into the Spring Boot application, so I'll just understand that uh, what is Spring Boot 3 framework is all about and what is upgrades we have from the 2.x versions and other versions. So for this Spring Boot 3, we need to have a baseline of Java 17. It supports Java 17 plus, Java 17, Java 18, whatever is the next plus till we have 21 is, is almost going to release in the few months now. And it also supports for a Gal VM and other native images as well. And it has improved performance on the observabilities as well as the micrometer and then the, the tracing part, everything. And one more important thing is like it supports all the Jakarta W uh, dependencies, everything before it was a spring. So as we move forward with some of the examples, I'll explain in all deep all those things. Just to you can go through your Spring Boot uh, or Spring IO deck here so that you can go through all these release notes and everything. So as clearly stated here, Java 17 is the baseline for that. So make sure that your system has a Java 17. Go to Oracle website and check for the Java 17 downloads. I'll paste this link as well. Okay, you can see the Java 17 version development kit and you have all the versions, different EXEs and the binaries and everything with respect to your OS and other things. So whatever it belongs to you or your system, you can just download and uh, install it yourself. So just to make sure that I'm I'll show you that what is my Java version is like. Now my Java version is Java 19 here. I'm using the Java 19 as well, but I have a Java 17 as well in my system. So I'll just making sure that we have a Java 17 plus, you know, system for Spring Boot 3 execution, everything. So as a part of the next step, let's go to Spring Initializer IO, where we are going to create a simple project using a Spring Boot 3 version and normal web dependency you're going to have. So there is not nothing much you're going to uh, change it here as the Spring Boot IO is, uh, is the Spring IO is the same uh, similarly what we had before. So I just selected the Java Gradle plugin and the 3.1.0 version. Now it's already they have a 3.1.1 snapshot. So I'm just taking it as 3.1.0 and given it as Spring Boot 3 demo project and a jar and the Java 17 I've created. I have already downloaded this application i just you can just do that download and it will be downloaded i just added a dependencies for that spring boot one dependencies like that is a web dependency so once it is download copy into your system and just import into intel j so once you import into intel j uh, just go through your project structure and everything for now i created a control and health check and everything so more important thing is like you have to go through your build.gradle so build.gradle should tell you which version you are running of the spring so now if i see there is spring version of 3.1.0 and the dependency management is 1.1.0 and the java 17 i am looking at it so if you look at the project settings uh, and you go to the compiler version you can see which the compiler version you are going to have so I have till 18 and 19 but currently i'm running on uh, java 17 i'll keep it as a byte version as a java 17 itself so now the dependencies which are added is a web starter dependencies and one more important dependency is for like open api or swagger ui what do you call that so you can see i added a dependency for uh, spring docs that is nothing but open api's uh, starter web mvc ui which is a 2.0.3 version and this is a normal uh, test starter which we have and uh, it's a very simple and clean uh, as of now build.gradle because I'm just going to run you the very basic application and show you how the Spring Boot application is run up and running and along with the Swagger configuration. So I just created a one simple controller which is a health check just to check whether it is up and running or not. That is simple health check control. So I already application, my application is already started. Let me see that is always by default applications runs on the 8080 port if you see now if i run it here up and running so what i'm returning in my method here or rest api here, up and running so it's just displaying me the same so now how do you access your swagger api from that you just need to add it your make sure that local host 8080 you just need to make add it here like swagger hyphen ui slash index.html so automatically it will pick up so it's unlike the previous uh, spring fox version everything you don't need to mention all the other dependencies and configuration as a part of the spring uh, uh, or application it will just by default it will come automatically by just adding a dependency of open api uh, for spring doc so you see now i have our it is showing that whatever it is there over for apis currently we have only one health status if you see 
if I click on health status, it is showing me up and running. So you can see what is the URL we are getting generated. This is our server URL. So one more important, so it is the open VP, uh, doc. So if you want to download a JSON and everything from out of the Spring uh, Swagger UI, you can just take this and save it as your swagger.json and you can use whenever uh, want to use. So this is very, very simple example as I'm going to create a series of applications on Spring Boot uh, 3 version and the Spring uh, Spring other versions as well with all the microservice example and end-to-end -end example like I created for other uh, Spring 2 point versions. So this is just the basic example. So more videos to come on this uh, on, on this whole series of a Spring Boot 3 and then other integrations. Thank you. Thanks a lot.